grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all my dear family of God. Today is Holy Saturday and today I would like us to reflect on the theme the new chapter in Jesus' resurrection. The church keeps vigil today in hopeful anticipation of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the Holy Saturday's liturgy, the church recalls the marvelous deeds of God and she recounts from creation through the history of the Israelite from slavery into freedom and then traces it to Jesus Christ and the life of the apostles. In today's liturgy, there is something special for you. The new chapter in Jesus' resurrection. In Jesus' resurrection, first, we die to our sins through baptism. So today's liturgy, we baptize people so that their sins are washed away. So we receive that benefit in Jesus' resurrection. And that is the open gate for the new chapter. Again, in the new chapter, we are buried in our baptism into the death of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we die with Jesus in our baptism. Again, we are finally raised by the power and the glory of God. So in our resurrection, we receive newness. So there is new life in Jesus' resurrection. So the new chapter, we gain newness of life in Jesus' resurrection. In Jesus' resurrection, we gain freedom. And there is that power of freedom in Jesus' resurrection. However, if you can benefit from that power of the freedom, we need to depend on Jesus. We need to cooperate with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ so that we can fully benefit from the new chapter of Jesus' resurrection. Cooperate with the grace of God. Remember, the new chapter comes with freedom, through freedom. I pray that God should engulf our hearts with the freedom, the joy, and the experience of the resurrection. I wish you a happy Easter. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you now and forever. Amen. I saw water flow.